Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Aries EDC. So I got this pouch of knives in. I did the initial unboxing and it's been a couple days that I've been trying to carry some of these and experience some of them. And I am going to somehow going to wrap my brain around how I'm going to do a review for all of them. So I might do one or two quick reviews of these guys. Uh, but there is some amazing stuff in this pouch and we're going to go through it. All right, guys. So I'm going to slowly start pulling knives out of the magic case and talking to you about them. Maybe do one or two at a time from, for this. I'm not going to be able to do all of them. And these are just going to be quick reviews talking about these knives. And I'm going to start with this one. This is the MKM. Let me make sure I say this right. Isonzo. Isonzo. Um, this is MKM, if you didn't know, is an Italian company. So this is the Insonzo uh, Vox knives, made by Vox. This is N690 steel. Um, and this is an awesome little blade and one that I actually, out of everything in this pouch, would be one thing that I would be able to purchase because I don't have a limited budget. As a matter of fact, there's only about two or three knives out of the 13 that are in here that I would even consider being able to purchase. Everything else is so far out of my reach, like this one, or this one, or this one, or definitely that one, or this one. Yeah, yeah. you guys are just gonna have to wait and see on this series, but, <laughs> and I say series because I have so many knives to go over with you guys. But this is gonna be the first one because it is more of a budget-friendly version. This is the, this is only $80 knife. Uh, so what are you getting for $80? Number one, you're getting a pretty small knife. Um, if I don't hit the camera, uh, you're getting a small knife, but pretty comfortable in the hand. Um, if you wanted to do a lanyard for the pinky, you could. The choke up position is very small, but you could still get it up there. Your thumb lands right here on top of the spine, which is pretty awesome. But again, most of the time, you're probably going to be up here making cuts and doing that for a blade that small. It is a liner lock. It does have the opening hole. I personally have to give it a little wrist action to get it to come open. But I think with a little oil and everything, these are users. Uh, everything in this pouch has probably been carried, um, maybe not as often as others, but it is a very cool, small little EDC knife. So uh, again, blade material N690. The blade length is 2.25 inches and the overall is 5.62 inches. Um, the uh, handle material, let me see, it's FRN. So this is the gray FRN. And I wanna say this is aluminum right here on the back spacer is aluminum along with the collar, but it has a little bit of grip on there with that, with the patterning that's on the scales and it has the wire clip. Uh, I'm not gonna say deep carry wire clip because you still have that much of the blade sticking out or the back of the handle sticking out. So it's not necessarily deep carry. And I don't mind wire clips. I know that a lot of people are not fans of the wire clip, but you see that that's not a huge ramp. And you can see the difference is actually taller here than it is down here. So that's very helpful. Um, but it has a really cool little blade shape. Uh, I forgot what they're calling this blade shape. Um, this is their clip point blade shape, which is really awesome. I like it and it's an excellent little knife. Um, again, for $80, it's not a bad deal for what you're doing. Uh, excellent um, access to the lock bar. It is jimped down there, so you can reach in there and get it. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze to get in there. You can see there's no real relief or anything to get your thumb in there to open it.
but you can without minimal effort, but it is a little tight. Uh, like I said, the reverse flick, you gotta do a little wrist action to get it out, but it's still not a bad little knife. And definitely on my list to make sure I pick up because that thing is really comfortable and would be an excellent addition to your collection. So that is the MKM Voxnase Designs Isonzo. <laughs> All right, guys, the next one is a lot of fun. So <laughs> this thing, uh, this is the Concept Mini Corvette um, with the Lightning Strike Titanium and the Damascus Blade. Uh, <laughs> This it just makes me laugh because it's just it it's everything that it lives up to be. It's just it's just I don't know. You you have to just have fun with something like this, right? I showed this to my wife, and she was like, "What happened to the blade? It looks like it just got chopped off." And I was like, "No, that's that's what it's supposed to be." <laughs> so it's it's very amusing. Um, and I really can appreciate that with this design. Now, is this gonna be for everybody? No, probably not, um, but it's a lot of fun, I can tell you that much. And it's sharp because it just bit me. Um, so it is a two finger blade. Uh, we have the lanyard here, which is very helpful when using this. Um, I found it helpful when I did the unboxing. I was looking at it and I was looking at it closed and I was looking at the jimping and we have the flipper here, but you also had all of this here, which if that little thing sticking out, normally you could do a front flip. And I was like, can you? And yep, you can front flip it, <laughs> but you really better hold on to that lanyard when you do it. Um, there's actually pretty good access to the lock bar. Let me pull it out. You can see that you do have pretty good access to the lock bar it for such a tiny little blade. Um, so let's look at some of the specs on it. The blade length, or let's do overall. Overall is 3.75 inches. <laughs> so yes, very tiny. Uh, blade length, 1.5, which is super small. Even then, this is even coming from me. And I like little knives, but this, the, this is super tiny. Um, the the materials are damask it's, it's not telling me what they use for that um, this is the titanium handle material that's been anodized with that lightning make it look really really cool and retail for this right now is 126 dollars uh, for that knife um, i am not going to try to reverse flick it i guess i could try let's see Eh, no, I've already cut myself once and I don't really feel like doing it again, but they have added this awesome bead on there to go with the scales and it's a really, it's, it's fun. Come on. It's fun. And in, on Blade HQ, they got these in several different colors and varieties. So it is a lot of fun and uh, one that I don't know if I particularly would pick one of these up but come on to be able to experience it is still a lot of fun because man i can tell you though that action is good ah oh, yeah that that action is actually very smooth very good uh but that thing is a tiny little beast isn't it <laughs> so these are the first two that I want to share with you. We have the Mini Corvid and where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh well, the MKM Incoso. Wait, did I put it over here? I want to be able to pull it out. There it is. So I have the Mini Corvid and the MKM Incoso. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think for the rest of them, I'm not going to have the case here. I'm going to make them a little bit more special. I'm going to pull out some other knives because we have some knives 
on this in this case that are completely ridiculous. Like this one. Or this one. Or <laughs> this one. Or <laughs> it just keeps going. Or this one. So these are all good things coming for this pack. This is well beyond anything I could have ever thought of. And, you know, one of the reasons, guys, I don't know a lot about these knives is because my budget really goes up to about $250 to $300 tops. After that, I just stop really paying attention. Why? Because these are, these are like not just grail knives to me. These are beyond grail. These are just knives that I would never purchase just because of the price. Um, and I say never, but I guess never say never because there always could be a time where I might want to buy, be able to drop the money to purchase one of these. But the price of one of these or the price of one of these is well beyond something that I am willing to spend right now. So you're going to have to bear with me through these because I don't know a lot about all of these things because I haven't paid a lot of attention to it. And if I have paid attention to it, it's just because I really liked the design. I really liked the look. But at the end of the day, I knew I'm never going to own one. So I just need to stop paying attention to it or I'm gonna, it's going to be something that I want. But I started with these two because these are more uh, budget. This, this one in this version is a little bit on the higher price range. I am sure you can look these guys up on Blade HQ and you can find one for much cheaper than that. Uh, I'm looking at one right now in just G10 for $78, $65. So they are worth, they are a little bit more budget friendly than some of the other stuff that I'm gonna be covering in the wrist pouch. But hopefully you guys will stay tuned for this. It's gonna be a really fun experience to be able to carry these and to be able to experience them and then to really talk to you guys about it. So again, thank you to that person who sent these in. And I really hope you enjoy this little series of reviews that I'm gonna be doing on the knives that came into this pouch. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment or not. Again, the choice is always yours.